Hello. Welcome back. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, I'm here. Welcome back. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Okay. okay, thank you. Good evening to all of you. It is a pleasure to be here with you again. Ready to start a new session, right? Ready. Okay, okay. We are ready. We are ready. Just waiting for the rest of participants of this program. How have you been, Mr. Cardona? What can you tell me about your routine today? Bye, bye. We work. Easy, teacher. Easy? What's easy? Easy, teacher. Okay. I like, I like that.
Hello, Rafael. Hello, teacher. How are you, sir? Very well, teacher. And you? Nice. Ready. You are ready for, for the, the cool weather, right? Yes. Yes. Ready. Oh. I think. Okay. I think. With your leather jacket. Yes. <laughs> More or less in the jacket. Okay, nice. Yeah, Okay, um, at the moment that we start the class, we are going to talk about a short review about the topic that we studied yesterday. And later on, we are going to start a new one. I don't know, I would like to know if you already finished all the activities, uh, talking about the last, uh, the last week, in the platform. Do you solve it? Not the chip. Not yet? No, not yet, not yet. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Christina. Microphone, microphone, Christina. No, I can hear you, I can hear you. I can, I can. Try your microphone, maybe it's not working. Because at the moment that I take a look at the attendance, you need to say, hello, I'm here. For the reason, you need to be sure that everything is working in the right way. Okay. Only six, only six.
well, in honor of, of you that are here with me now, we are going to start talking about the last topic that we started. I need that you keep in mind and try to remember what we started. Okay, here we go. This is a uh, video conference number 12, and we are going to talk about how to use present perfect. I hope that you understand what we are going to talk about. And uh, in order to start the class, Uh, yes, I would like to give you some tips that, in, that you can keep in mind about what we are going to talk about. We are going to make a review of our expression for describing issues. Okay, try to keep in mind before to, I need to check up the attendance, but I got only just uh, nine. I, I need to wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar un poco más. para que luego se vayan incorporando. Bueno, ya les dimos el, el, los 10 minutos. Más, more than that. Okay, I'm going to check up the attendance now. Y luego es que se agreguen los compañeros. Maybe they have some problems. We don't know what is happening. Okay, Ana del Carmen, are you there? Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Angel Narciso. Present teacher. The first one, okay. Cristina. Present teacher. Eh, Giovanni. Giovanni. I'm here. Uh, Harrison. Jose Miguel. Juan Carlos. Karina Noemi. Present. Thank you. Linda Iber. Present. Maria Idalia. I am here, teacher. Okay. Eh, Maria Julia. Marlene Nicole. Present. Marvin. Nancy.
Norma. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. I'm your teacher. Okay. Eh, Raquel Judith. Raquel. Nahir. Eh, Reinaldo. Suleima. Xiomara. And uh, Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. No. Okay, let us start now. We got only just nine. I don't know the reason why. But I've been waiting for the rest. I've been waiting, I've been waiting. Okay, let us make a review of what we were talking in the last class. Do you remember that? We, we, we have some expression last. I'll have a look at it. It doesn't work properly. I need a, to speed thin up. Check the brush one before night. It makes a strong noise. I have to extend the chart. The minor fall. Okay, what do you remember about this expression that we started yesterday? Tell me. Uh, we use a teacher uh, for to ex uh, explain to the uh, technical support. Okay, excellent. I like that. Somebody else? Somebody else want to tell me something about it? Welcome back, Juan Carlos and Raquel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Norma Carolina. Yes, teacher. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Linda, I bet I don't see you, camera, Linda. Uh, maybe she has some problem, okay? Okay, let us try to remember what we started yesterday. We were talking about different kind of vocabulary related with the, how to resolve or to fix some problem in some machinery, right? Okay, what can you tell me? Somebody else want to tell me something about it? I'm waiting. Tell me. Just activate your microphone and tell me what do you think? What do you remember? Teacher, about technical problems and possible causes and solution. Ah, okay, okay, excellent. Somebody else, somebody else, please. No.
Okay, yeah, uh, as I told you, uh, these are some expressions for describing issues. You know, I need to speed up thin, check the brush once for night. I had to extend the chat, a minor fall. I need to check up what is happening. Do you remember when you were talking about some problem with uh, sun printer? Yes. Se recuerdan que estuvimos hablando de problemas con un impresor. Somebody told me something about that. That's our expression yes. that we use to describe Asia, right? And suddenly the, we have problem with the internet service. Do you remember that, that we were talking about that too? And you need to call to the technical support and sometimes we can resolve that problem uh, in person and sometimes we need to go to the web space and another way how we can solve it, it is just online, maybe uh, by a video, a video conference or a video call, you know, we can solve the problem too, okay? Try to keep in mind because uh, Right now we are going to talk about a new topic, but before to do to start this topic, we are going to take a look at this question. How often do you have problem with your computer? I need to give me an answer. And the second one is who is in charge of checking on them when there is a problem? Try to keep in mind and try to give me an answer about this question, please. What can you tell me? I need that you participate right now, please. Okay, teacher. Um, maybe in the front desk, I have a problem with the, with the print twice a year. Um, and the person in charge of that, uh, his name is uh, Marlon. Okay. I call him when I when I need uh, help. Okay, he, he's the technician of, the, of your company, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, excellent. Somebody else? Somebody else? Tell me. Okay. Do you remember the question? Or do you want me to show you again? How often do you have problem with your computer? Who is in charge of checking then when there is a problem? How often? How often do you have problem with you, your computer? Just tell me. Try to organize your idea and share it with us, please. I need that all, that all of you participate because in that way it's going to be better. Tell me. How often do you have problem? Maybe not with your computer, but maybe with your cell phone. If you don't have a computer, maybe with your cell phone, how often do you have problem with your cell phone? Tell me. Con que frecuencia tiene usted problemas con su 
ordenador o computadora. Time is running, time is running. Uno legítimo y auténtico. Okay, I need, I need, I need that you tell me because it is a question in order that we can start talking about the new topic. But I need that you participate, please. Try to do it. Tell me something. Don't worry about. It. Just tell me. What do you think about the question? Teacher, me. Okay, Cristina. In my case, hardly ever I have a problem with my com computer because the technician, the technician, receive check it the each month. Okay, every month. Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. okay. Once a month. Yes. Okay, once a month. Una vez al mes la chequea. Okay, excellent, easy. Somebody else, somebody else, please. Alguien más? No, okay, I'm going to continue because, but okay, uh, if you don't want to participate, well, I'm going to continue because I need to cover another uh, contents, you know. Okay, I got it here. Jesus. But maybe I'm going to show you in the in the book. I don't know if you can see it very well. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, we have a, a conversation here between Luke and Jorv. And I need that you read it carefully. Me. Listen carefully, please. What's wrong with your computer, Jorv? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I had checked. I had checked it every, everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician has checked, checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah. I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, try, try to read the conversation slowly and get familiar with the new expression. And later on, um, we are going to study every expression that you don't understand exactly, okay? Try to identify all the words that are difficult for you. And underline it if you have the material. Print it, okay? Okay, I'm going to read it again in order that you can uh, 
keep in mind. Okay, Luke, say what's wrong with the computer yours? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I had checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, I need a volunteer who wants to read it, please. Only one, only one, no more than one. Me too. Okay. Um, what's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it. I checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. What about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with, the, with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the man, 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 my maintenance team replace the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends, sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix his this problem. Okay, thank you. Let me see. There is a word. Where is it? Right here is this. this. So this is maintenance. 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 We, can, we, we can hear it in different way. Yeah. Maintenance. Yeah, but the, the, the most clear maybe for the level that you are could be maintenance. Maintenance. Can you hear me very well? Yes. Maintenance. Maintenance. Yeah, maintenance. And this level is right to say it that way. Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay. Remember that uh, according to the level that you are switching, you are switching some uh, way how you are going to produce the sounds. Okay, somebody else, please. Somebody else? Alguien más? Want to read it, please? Me, teacher. Okay, Linda. <clears throat> What's wrong with the com computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and I won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the main my maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, thank you.
Any question? Oh. The the verb well van unido have checked have checked. Let me see. Have checked. You are talking about this one? Has 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 had is is ah, an this, auxiliary. This is one. an auxiliary. Yeah, how how check how check it everywhere. Is an auxiliary plus verb in past. In past participle. Past. Yes, later I'm going to explain the structure that you are going to follow in order to. Uh, okay, let me see if we are ready to this conversation. I need to, to, to volunteer who wants to read it. Me, so teacher. Okay, okay, okay. You are going to be Luke and I need somebody else who is going to be yours. Okay. I need somebody else. I need two. I already have. Okay, okay, do it. Empiezo. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it went wrong. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have to check it all the cable or project. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I had, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replied the validities? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Wait, I hope he can fix this problem. Gracias. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, somebody else wants to do it now, please. Okay, remember another thing that I would like to tell you is that uh, when we have like this kind of bird, it doesn't uh, never sound like it did right here. Checked. Checked. Flighty checked. Yes. We have three different ways how to pronounce the irregular verb ed. Like t, like d, and like ed. Okay, keep in mind. Okay, somebody else? Any question? Una pregunta que tenga. No question. No question. No question. Really? Okay, make an screenshot because you are going to uh, uh, practice with somebody else. Let me see how many people do we have. Only a thirteen. I don't know what is happening with the rest. They are have the maybe they they are having problems. With a schedule or something like that. Será que estamos teniendo problemas con los horarios? Estoy mirando que algunos se están conectando ya más tarde. O será el tráfico? Yes, el tráfico, teacher. Awful. Okay, okay, okay. Sometimes it's really difficult, right? Okay, I got uh, 13, going to be three in, in, a, in a group.
Let me see. Okay, the first one is going to be Linda, Maria, and Marlon. You are going to work together. And I'm going to give you three minutes, three minutes in order that you can uh, practice this conversation. Let us do it now, please. Ana Cristina, Ana Cristina, Marlene. Go to your room, please. Okay, right now they are practicing the, the conversation. We need to wait until they finish. And later on, we are going to see how they are going to play or perform the conversation in front of the class. Okay, welcome back. Okay, what, what can you tell me about the, the conversation? Who wants to start? Okay, tell me. Don Narciso, pasamos. I'm ready. What yes. wrong with the computer is yours? Hello, Gloof. Well, I don't know. I have ticket in everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? How did you check it on the call our employer? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. 
We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna, I have had the same problem with the equipment. Yeah, I heard that has the maintenance team replace the batteries. No, they haven't. My boss sent a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can pick this problem. Thank okay, you. Christina, thank you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Me, teacher, and Linda. Okay, Maria and Linda. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with that computer, George? Hello, it looks well. I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too, that's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Um, Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends, sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Thanks. Okay, thank you. David, somebody else, please. Somebody else, somebody else. Me, teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? How do you check it if the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not Verify the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sent ten a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can he can fix this problem. Okay. okay thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Teacher. Hello. Me and Karina. Okay, Anna Karina. And Karina. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. Uh, how about the connection? How do you check all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Maria the Technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. How's the maintenance thing replace the batteries? Um, no, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Thank you. 
Thank you. Somebody else, please. Somebody else, please. Now? What about, let me see, Xiomara. Hello. Eh, Norma Carolina. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ok. Genial. Ok. What's wrong? Why the computer is yours? Hello, look. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and I want to run. That, that too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Uh, yeah, I heard that has the many may has the manipulation thing replaced the batteries. No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see by the by the the way the technician is coming. Great, I hope he can fix this problem. Thank you. Okay. Excellent, somebody else please. The last couple. The last couple, please. Somebody else, somebody else, somebody else. Alguien más? No. Rafael. Okay. Rafael, Rafael, Rafael. Okay. I'm ready. Uh, what's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, look. Well, I don't know. I have a check it everywhere and it won't turn that's too bad. What about the connection? Have to check in all the cables are plugged yet? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the batteries in place, the batteries? No. They haven't, my boss sent them a memo every week. I see the, the way the technician is coming. Great. I hope they can fix this problem. Okay. I need to explain you, uh, let me see, something that is really important. I already mentioned. But in this case, let me see. 
Okay, right here it says, have you checked all? Have you checked, checked? And right here it says, I have checked. And we have it here for the reason we have, we say I have checked it everywhere. But that no mean that we are pronouncing this like check it. Now, this is check. And with this one is check it, right? But when the word is alone, cuando la palabra está sola, we say, have you checked? All the cables are plugged. Check. This one is not plugged. It. It's plugged. Plugged. Yeah. Loud, loud. Yeah. Que no suene este ed así. Okay. The same happened here. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it because we have this one here. Let me tell you something here. Well, right here. This ED is no sound. This is silent. And we are going to join this letter with it. For the reason is check it. Right here is check it. But when it is alone, it's checked. All the cables are flat. Me comprenden lo que les explico, si? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, uh, teacher. Yes. yes. Ok, 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 porque es necesario. And right here also, somebody wants to read it here. This is the pronunciation symbol of these words. Maintenance. Read it, please. Repeat. Maintenance. 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 Ok, try to pronounce it. Try to pronounce it. Read it, read it. Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, right. Mind, Mind, maintenance. Maintenance. It's E, main, main. Main, maintenance. 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 You can repeat it. Maintenance. 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 It is like here. Replaced, 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 yeah, no, well, we can say replace it, replaced, replaced, replaced the batteries, replaced the batteries, yes, okay, uh, take a look at the wording ball, Dele una mirada, por favor, a las letras que están en negría. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. Ok, what can you tell me about those expressions? Let me see. We have this one, I have checked, and we have uh, this one in question, have you checked? Yes, I have. Um, Mario, the technician, has checked it. We have now verified, and so on. Do you remember that I, I, I uh, send you a list of irregular verbs? ¿Se recuerdan que les envié una lista de verbos? Hace un par de días. Yes? No? Yes, teacher. Mm, no se recuerda. Ok, en lo que paso la lista se van recordando de esa listita, valga la redundancia. Because we are, here we are going to use it. Aquí la vamos a usar. Ok, Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ángel. Present teacher. Cristina. 
Present. Giovanni. Giovanni. I saw Giovanni. It's not here. Giovanni. Jose Miguel. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay. Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. Maria. I'm here teacher. Maria Julia. Maria Julia. Marlene. Present. Marvin. Nancy. Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. Raquel Judith. Raquel. Raquel. Present teacher. Ah, okay. I need that you tell me that you are there. Reinaldo. Reinaldo. Suleima. Suleima. Xiomara del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, and Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. Suleima and Reinaldo. They didn't answer. Okay. Nancy and Marvin is not here. And Maria Julia. And Miguel and Harrison. Giovanni. Giovanni Alexander. No. Let me see Giovanni. I don't see Giovanni. Only Juan Carlos is there. I don't know, but uh, maybe some of you are having some problem. I don't know why. We have only uh, 13 or 21. Tenemos 13 de 21. Es decir, eight. Eight people is now here in this class today. I don't know why. Están tristes por la pérdida de la selección, quizá todavía. O están celebrando. Ah. O están celebrando todavía. Será. <risa> Será de celebrating. Podría ser de viernes. Ok, bueno. Well, we are going to continue. We are going to continue. Oh, all of you know what uh, your responsibilities in your company. And well, let us do what we can do, okay? I need to explain you, maybe you already have uh, some ideas about the present perfect, right? Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe it is, it is the first time that you are hitting something like this. But let us talk about. Okay, this topic, I would like to know if, if it is new for you or you already started. No sé si el presente perfecto es, es un tema que no lo han visto nunca o si ya lo vieron. Long time ago, teacher. Okay, long time ago. Okay, okay. Okay, before to start talking about this, we are going to have a, I need that you take a look at the word have. This word, can function as a member 
like tener, and also as an auxiliary, that is a ver in Espanol. When we talk about perfect time, cuando hablemos de tiempos perfectos, y lo usemos como un auxiliar, that means that we are not going to pay attention about this. Entonces no le vamos a prestar atención al tener, sino que solamente al haber como un auxiliar. Ok, for example, as a neighbor, I can say, uh, you have a new car. She has a beautiful house. They have a lot of duties. Ahí lo estoy utilizando como tener, como un verbo principal. Por ejemplo, dice usted, I have a motorcycle, yo tengo una motocicleta. But when we use it as an auxiliary, it's going to mean haber. But you need to keep in mind, necesito que mantengamos lo siguiente. Estos dos acá están en infinitivo. Cuando ya los voy a conjugar con una persona, ya sea primera, segunda o tercera del singular o plural, ya no va a decir yo a ver, sino que cómo sería. Yo he. Eh. Excelente. Hey, yo he. Ah. Yo, eh, el, uh, ok, let us, let us see. Let us see this, please. Okay, I have it here. Before to start the structure, I need that we make a, hold on a second, I need to erase this two line that I have here because tend to confuse you. Okay, I got it here. Okay, I got the pronoun and I got the conjugation here. And we are going to say, okay, I have, each and it has, you have, we have, and they have. In this case, if I use it as a main verb, si yo lo uso como un verbo principal, aquí diría, yo tengo, él tiene, ella tiene, eso tiene, este para animales o cosas, eh, ustedes tienen, nosotros tenemos y ellos tienen. But in this case, we are talking about an auxiliary and we are going to say in a different way. I have yo he, he has el a, she has ella a, it has eso a, eh, you have, ustedes han, we have, nosotros hemos, and they have, ellos han. ¿Se comprende esa parte? Yes, teacher. What about yes, the rest? What about the rest? Angel? Yes. Is clear? Yes, Ana Cristina? Juan Carlos? Raquel? Norma? Yes, Xiomara? Cristina? Marlene? Maria? Yes, okay. Yes, okay, 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 let us continue. Okay, I have a here. How to use present perfect? Use present perfect to talk about unfinished action or stays or habit that is started in the past and continue to the present. We need to have clear this situation that we are going to use the present perfect to talk about unfinished action. Que vamos a usar el presente perfecto para hablar de acciones que no se han finalizado o estados o hábitos que comenzaron en el pasado que continúan en el presente. Use the verb in the participle form 
and the auxiliary. I, we need to put Have something that. here. Okay. Use the verb in the participle form and the auxiliary help for had for third person singular. He, she, and it. Right here has to be has, right? And we use we have. have for the rest of the pronouns. And this structure that we have is subject plus auxiliary, that in this case could be have or has. Uh, plus bear in participle, plus the complement. And we have some example here. For example, I have checked the report where the subject is going to be this, the auxiliary is going to be this, the verb in participle is going to be this, and this one is the complement. Is that clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, creo que su sí significa sí. ¿Y el resto? Teacher. ¿De compañeros? Is clear enough for you? Yes, teacher. Ok, the second, the second example. The second example say they have not replaced the battery. This is a, in a negative. That means that when we are going to talk about negative statement, we are going to use this word that is going to be not right here. And it's in the middle of have and the past participle, ver, está en medio del auxiliar y el verbo en past participle, ok? Ok, right here says, she has explained her situation. This is a uh, affirmative too. And this one, the teen, has not had that kind of problem. This is negative. Why do we have a has here? Por qué tengo has aquí? Tell me. Es una tercera persona. Ah, uh, because it is a third singular person. And right here, setting negative statement at not after the auxiliary. En oraciones negativas, agregamos la palabra not después del auxi. Auxi. Auxiliar. Ah, oh, se me duermen, se me duermen. Y eso no, 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 no puede ser. Ok. Right here, you are going to pay attention only just to the affirmative and negative. No interrogative and short answer. We are going to pay our attention only just to this one and this one, not the rest, okay? Okay, I need somebody who wants to read the number one, please. Only one, only one, only one. I have played. Played. Yeah, this is uh, affirmative and negative. I haven't played. I haven't played. Okay. Somebody else in the second one, please. You have played. Negative. You haven't played. You haven't played, okay. Um, okay, right here. She has played. Negative. She hasn't played. Okay, this is male. And this is female. Okay, somebody else here. 
she has played. Or? She hasn't played. She hasn't played, okay. What about animals and scenes right here? Somebody else, please. It has played. Negative. It hasn't played. Okay. What about Pluto's? Right here. We have played. We, we have haven't played. played. We haven't played, okay. Uh, in Spanish, what is the meaning of this? The same person, please. No, I mean, hemos jugado. Excelente. Okay, right here, the second Pluto. What else, please? You have played. Yeah, and negative? <laughs> you haven't played. You haven't played. Okay. And the last one. They haven't played. No, right here. In affirmative. They have played. They have played in negative. They haven't played. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, I need that you take a look at this regular bear that I have here. This is uh, the main bear, the bay form of the bear. This is the simple path form, and this is the path participle. No? When we talk about perfect time, we are going to use this one. This one. Cuando hablemos de eh, tiempos perfectos, lo que vamos a usar es la columna 3. En este caso, como son verbos regulares, todos terminan en ed. Uh, and I already told you that there, there are three different ways how to pronounce it. Existen tres formas diferentes de cómo pronunciarlo. Una es D, otra es T y otra es ED. Pero nunca, por ejemplo, puedo decir watch it, believe it, no, o play it, o open it. No, 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 no. That means that if I have watched, watched, believed, believed, pride, pride, play, played, open, open, bend, bend, travel, travel. Yeah? And we have a different way. This is uh, United Kingdom, and this one is like USA. In the USA, only just one L, one L, and right here is two L, right? Okay, I guess that it is clear. Okay, I need volunteer who wants to read it. The first column, please. The first row, la primera fila. A volunteer, please. Un voluntario, por favor. <laughs> Cristina. Es la primera que vi el nombre. Me teacher. The, the birds. Oh, only, only yeah, the fair row. Solo la primera la primer fila. Okay. Wash, believe. Ah, no. Wash. Wash, watch, watch it. Mm. Otra vez. Wash. 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 Do you remember the explanation that I gave? Se recuerda lo que acabo de explicar ahorita. No. Hola. Yes, teacher. Okay, somebody wants to tell me in Spanish. Alguien que me diga en español rapidito lo que yo dije. ¿Cómo se pronuncian las terminaciones de los verbos regulares? ¿Cuántas maneras existen de pronunciarlas? Three, four. Tres, teacher. Ah, ok. Tres formas. Significa que una va a ser... T. 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 E. 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 E.
Entonces significa que, para resumirles el cuento, solamente lo van a pronunciar y di cuando el verbo termine en T o en D. Son las únicas que sean sonidos consonánticos de T o D. ¿Sí? El resto solo va a sonar como una T o como una D. Por ejemplo, aquí dice wash. Washed. 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 ¿Sí? No se puede oír que se diga watch it. No. Washed. Washed. Ok. ¿Somebody wants to read this, please? Believe. Ok. Believe. Believe. Ok. Nice. Right here. ¿Somebody else? Right. 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 Okay. Right. This one? Play. 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 Okay. Somebody else? Open. 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 Somebody else, please? Alguien más? Solo uno. Band. 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 Ok. This one? Travel. Traveled. 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 Yeah, it is, it is the same. Ok, thank you. Ok, ok. Let's go. Let's go. Move forward. Ok. And, and right here I got some irregular bear. ¿Por qué estoy presentándoles esto? Because we are going to use it create a perfect time, we are going to use the third column, this one. We call it irregular because they have a different form for, for different times. For example, we have be, was, where, and right here is been. Okay? And I can say, I had been in Canada. Yo he estado en Canada. Yeah. Okay, I need somebody read this one. This one, please. Begin, began, and begun. I remember that I sent you a list of there, and there you have the pronunciation. Ahí les aparece también la pronunciación. Uh, well, later on, we are going to create some sentences using uh, this past participle, okay? Begin, began, begun. Okay, Mariel wants to read this. Feel, felt, felt. Okay, thank you, somebody else. Hear, hear, heard, heard. Just like, like, like only as the ear. Hear, heard, heard. Heard. Yeah, okay, this one. Fly, flew, clown. Fly, okay. Right here. Give, gave, given. Given, okay. Given. This one? Come, come, okay. come. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Right here you are going to put like a nap. Come. Came. Come, came, come, come. Yeah, it is the same like this. Okay, what about this one? Read it, read it, read it, please. Boy, but, boat, boat. Boy, but, God. Okay, and the last one? This one? Learn. Learned. With T. Learned. Yeah. Learned. We have a different way how to write. Learn, learn, learn. Okay, later on, you are going to create some uh, sentences using uh, this verb, but let, let's go. 
Vayámonos más adelante, por favor. Ok, write affirmative and negative sentence using the present perfect and using the words given. I already have the example here. Ya tengo los ejemplos acá. For example, uh, let A say he does his paper. And the sentence is he lost his paper. Do you know why I have this apostrophe here? ¿Sabe por qué tengo ese apostrophe ahí? Intero say he has lost. En vez de decir he has lost his passport, decimos he's lost his passport. Por eso es que cuando ya el americano habla, eh, él, él es más práctico. En vez de decir he has lost, no. He's lost his passport. Ok, el objetivo acá es que lea, eh, ne, pero necesito un voluntario para cada una de estas oraciones. Solo me van a leer las palabras y luego la oración completa para que se vayan familiarizando. Sí, sí, please. Somebody wants to do it? Me, teacher. Ok. We not finished our work. We haven't finished our work. Ok, what is the meaning in Spanish? No hemos terminado eh, nuestro trabajo. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Ok, let us see. Somebody else, please. Somebody else. Alguien más. They buy a new house. They haven't bought a new house. Read it again. Read it again. They have bought a new house. Okay, because at the beginning you said in a negative. Porque el primero dijo they haven't bought. Entonces era negativa. Okay. Okay, let it be. Somebody else, please. I, I visit New York five times. Okay. I have visited New York five times. Okay, I have visited, visited. I, visited, I have visited New, New York five times. Ok, y aquí se cumple la regla que les dije, miren, que cuando tenemos un sonido chi de una consonante, entonces va a sonar id. Aquí está visited o visited. Ok, next, letter E, please. They go to the cinema. Ok, again. They go to the cinema. Ok, y la oración sería. They have gone to the cinema. Ok, significando en español. Hola. What is the meaning? What is the meaning? Ellos han ido al cine. Excelente. Letter F. You eat for bananas. Ok. You have eaten for bananas. Okay. You have eaten. Eating for bananas. Eaten, eaten. Eaten, eaten. 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 Okay. Letter G. Volunteers, volunteers, please. I, I not do any homework this week. I haven't done any homework this week. Mm, this, this one, this one. Okay, that's right. You read this one. But we, we missed letter we, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We missed letter G because this is H. No she hace has falta. traveled far. She hasn't traveled far. Okay. Dice en Spanish. Ella no ha viajado lejos. Okay, excelente. And the last one, letter I. The last one, please. We not study French. Okay. We haven't 
Eh, no sé cómo sería ahí. Study. Study French. We haven't started. Study French. Study French. Okay, excelente. Let us continue. And we are going to practice. Okay, I, I have here something that is called who is Bill Gates. I need a volunteer who wants to read it. Necesito un voluntario que quiera leerlo. Oh, I'm going to read it. Hold on. When you, are, when, when you are going to do is just to identify where ustedes lo que van a hacer es identificar dónde, in which line, qué línea, there is a expression used in a perfect time. Lo que vamos a hacer es identificar dónde están esas frases relacionadas con lo que acabo de explicar. Somebody uh, told me who wants to, to try to me read it. Me okay. teacher. Okay, um, Maria. Sí. Bill Gates is one of the richest and most successful business exec executives in the world. Millions of people have used his computer program for the past three de decades. 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 Okay, hold on, hold on there. Ahí, espere, espéreme ahí. Okay, somebody else tell me uh, if we have some expression in, um, in present perfect. Millions of, of people have used his. Okay, only mention the expression that is used in perfect, like, uh, I mean, only just tell me the auxiliary and the verb. Have used. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Are you going to continue reading? Yeah. Okay. Um, Bill Gates has always loved, always loved working with computers. In fact, he has programming, programmer, programming computers since his early teens. Okay, what about this two line? Do we have an expression in yes. in present perfect? Oh. As program program teacher. What else? As always load. Ah, as always load. No. Yes. And he has programmed computers since his early teen. Okay, somebody else want to read the, the last paragraph? Alguien más, por favor, que nos ayude a leer. Nadie. Me, teacher. Okay, Marlon. Yeah. He has been the CEO of Microsoft Co Corporation since 1975. Since then, Bill Gates has written, written several books and, his, and has given billions of dollars of his school. For the last several years, he and his wife, Melinda, have donated a some substantial amount of money to organization working in global health. Okay, repeat this word, please. Donate. Do you remember what I told you? Donate. Do you remember what I told you about ED? Donate. Donate it. Ah, okay, Donate. repeat again. Donate it. Donate. Donate it. Donate it. Okay, uh, I need that you identify the expression that we have in present perfect in this paragraph. He has, has been. been. Okay. Has given. Has written. Has written. Has given. Has given, have donated, 
Have donated. Have donated. That's it? That's it. Yeah. Okay. One is missing? No? Okay. Somebody else wants to read it? Alguien más quiere leer? Oh, okay. Okay, as you can see, we have uh, this expression here people have used. Uh, Bill Gates has always load. He has program. He has been. Uh, he has written. And he has given also Melinda, he and his wife Melinda had donated. Talking about he and his wife. Okay, any question? Preguntas? Hello? No, teacher. ¿Qué dice el resto? ¿Qué dice el resto? It is clear for, for all of you how we are going to use it. Now you can ask question if you want. Okay, let us go to page number 32. Let me see, I got the book here. And let's go to page number 32. Nos vamos a la página 32. Exercise uh, number five. Vamos al ejercicio número cinco. I'm going to share with you in order that you can solve this. Okay, here we go. This one is the one that you need to resolve, right? Affirmative and negative sentences using the prompts. We have Mario chain the fuse. The production not stop. Our team fix the equipment. Jenny not blocks the curves. Secretary made enough copies. The technician check the connector. Okay, this is like the example that I gave you. Esto es como el ejemplo que yo les di. You are going to create sentences using perfect time in a simple perfects. And you are going to write in down sentences, okay? If you don't have the material, make an screenshot now. Si no tiene el material, haga una captura. A la cuenta de uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Okay. And start working, please. I want to see working. Any questions so far from here? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No se oye. A question? Hola. Hagamos la primera como ejemplo, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. I like that. Me gusta, me gusta. Hagamos la primera como ejemplo. Excelente. 
Let me show you, let me show you here, okay. Okay, we can make this would be negative or affirmative. All depends how you want to create it. The first thing that I'm going to put here is going to be, let me see if I can write down something in text. To put it here, okay. We can say Mario. Uh huh. What else? I need after Mario. Can I see to put the Mario? Has changed. Uh -huh. Has. Has. Yes. Change. Uh, has. Change. Chain. Refuse. Refuse. Si lo quiero hacer en afirmativo. Pero has si not. yo lo quiero hacer, if I want to do it in a negative, has, has not. not. Has. Has not. Has not changed the fuse. Ok, comprendido. Yes. 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 Ok, ok, let's work now, please. The production, our team and so on, okay? Let's do it now. Maintenance. If you have any doubts, just tell me. Try to keep in mind the structure that you are following. 
create these sentences. Did you finish? Not yet. Not yet. Ana Cristina. Me faltan dos. Finish, teacher. Okay, be careful because uh, in the prompts you can see if you are going to create a, a, an affirmative or a negative sentence. I am ready to check it. Okay, number two. Somebody wants to tell me. That's a note. The production. That's not. That's, That's not. not. Stop. Stop. We can we can do it this way. Let me see. Let me switch my keyboard. Oops. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. This one. Hasan? Stop. Stop. Okay. What about the third one? Team. I fix. Have, have fixed. Yes, fixed. Fix. Yes. Equipment. For the next one. Jenny has not fluid. Not fluid. Court. Court. Okay. Has not fluid. Flat. Fluid. Flat. 
Clacks the car. Remember what I told you. Recuerden lo que les dije. Tres formas de pronunciar. Ya sea con D, con T o con ED. But. Ok, number five. The secretary has secretary made. Has made. And now. The last one. The technician has checked. Check it. Check the connector. Check it. The tech. Check it. Check. The technician has checked. Has check it. Check. Has check. Has check. Check. Pongámonos de acuerdo, pongámonos de acuerdo. <laughs> okay, read it now, please. Sure. The yeah. number number three, how things uh, has or, or how? Did, it is singular or plural? The the word team. Rural. Team. Rural. Rural. This one. Our team. Our team. That's Our team. team. It is singular or plural? Rural. Uh, no. Singular. Singular. Es equipo es uno. For that Pero reason. Cuando, okay. Teacher, y cuando es nuestro, eh, no sería how. Pero si no dijera team. Ah, ok. <ríe> Hay que tomar en cuenta eh, el nombre. Por ejemplo, esto, our team. ¿Sí? Nuestro equipo. Solo es uno. Si dijera nuestros equipos, ahí sí. Right. Yes. Así me gusta, mire, que pregunten. Participen, ok, necesito, I need six volunteers who want to read it. Seis voluntarios que me lean las oraciones. Ok, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let us move on. Mejor vamos a seguir hacia adelante. Bien. Ok, si, si, si gusta puede tomarle una, hacer una captura. Is that? Yes. Lo hizo. Not yet. Jesus. I do really sorry. Let me see if I have. No, I don't have it. Okay, I'm going to send you later, but in, in your in your group. Okay, now uh, we have some minutes in order to uh, create a short conversation about a problem that maybe you have in your company. How you are going to talk with somebody else and say, okay, uh, I had been problem with, yo he estado teniendo, nosotros hemos estado teniendo problemas con, podría ser, ¿sí? Eh, y alguien podría preguntar, how did you solve the problem? ¿Cómo resolviste el problema? ¿Sí? O, uh, Yeah, somebody can say, I have called the technician, I have called to the factory, etc., etc., etc. Una, eh, tiene que ser algo corto porque no tenemos eh, tanto tiempo. Y los que no puedan pasar hoy, lo hacemos al inicio mañana. 
Let me see. I got 13. Se me fueron varios. ¿Cuál es la primera indicación de lo que vamos a hacer? Sí, una conversación cortita usando el presente perfecto sobre algún problema que tenga en, en el lugar de trabajo. O, por ejemplo, alguien podría preguntar a, o podría decir o crear oraciones mejor, que sería lo más fácil. Hagámoslo así para no complicarnos mejor. Eh, mejor, uh, I guess that it's better that you create at least two sentences using the present perfect. Que cada uno cree dos oraciones usando el presente perfecto. Por ejemplo, alguien dice, I have enjoyed the movie. Yo he disfrutado la película. I haven't listened the instruction. Yo no he escuchado las instrucciones etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Only two. No more than two, please. Most of the time. And I need to see Who is going to be the person that is going to be with me at the end of the class? Marlene, Nicole, are you there? Marlene? Yes, teacher. Okay, are you available to stay with me to talk about different topics? Yes? Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't know if somebody finished. Just start talking, please. Si alguien ya tiene las suyas, can I start now, please? Teacher, for example, I have flown to Panama twice. And okay, my okay. sister. Okay, hold on. Repeat the third one. Uh, I have flown, flown. Okay, to I got Panama it. Twice. Okay, to Panama twice. Okay. It's good. Yeah, and also uh, could be I had traveled to Panama. Ah, okay. Okay. And my sister has broken the mirror. The little? Mirror, mirror. Ah, the mirror, the mirror. Okay. Yeah. Quebró el espejo la hermana. Qué bárbara. Ok, excelente. Linda. Ok, somebody else, please. Somebody else, somebody else. Teacher. Ana, teacher. Ana Cristina. Axel has played, played soccer. Played. Played. Late. Late. Okay. The next one. La siguiente. Ana has eaten pizza. Ana has eaten pizza. Okay. Okay. The man, el, el caballero que habló justo después de Ana Cristina. Me teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos. We have studied different topics in class. We have a started different topic in this class. Okay, I like that. Uh, the teacher, the teacher has taught excellent. Ah, uh, the teacher has talks excellent or has explained also. We can use different kinds of there. Okay. 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 Excellent. excellent. Somebody else, please. Alguien, uno más. The last one. The, the last one. secretary has not received the. Equipment. The secretary hasn't received equipment. Okay, equipment, equipment, equipment. 
Equipment. Equipment. Okay. Somebody else, somebody else, please. No? Okay, uh, I'm going to ask you this in Spanish. Le voy a preguntar esto en español. Uh, but I want that you be honest. Necesito que sean honestos. Mira, he tratado de explicarte este tema lo más claro posible. Porque en cierto modo, eh, and sometimes it's really difficult to understand it. Algunas veces es como medio complicado para entenderse, pero yo quiero estar seguro que sí me comprendió la explicación que le di. Dígame. Ok, Ana, ¿quién más? Es clear, teacher. Ok, María, van dos. Que no diga es porque, pues sí, hay dudas. Yes, ¿Sí? teacher. ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Four. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Five. We are teacher. Six. Yes, teacher. Seven. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Try to keep in mind this topic. And I recommend you that you study the material that I send you. Do you remember that? Le recomiendo que estudien la tablita de verbos que les envié. Usamos la tercera columna para hacer tiempos perfectos. Eso es sumamente importante. Okay, thank you very much. Good night to all of you. I'm going to stay here only just with uh, one lady to I talk. Check. Okay, I, I hope to see you tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> not tomorrow. It's, it's gonna be done on Monday, okay? Because tomorrow is yeah, tomorrow is tomorrow is weekend and you have you are going to have a vacation. Maybe some of you are going to have free. To, to travel night. with your family, to enjoy with your family, to go to the, the stadium to play soccer and do everything. Okay. Bye bye. See you. See you. See you next week. Good night, teacher. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Thank good you. Night. Hi everyone. Todo terminado. Teacher, la asistencia no la pasó. Ah, the assistant, Jesus. Y ya, se me, y ya se me fueron. My no. goodness. Ok, Ana del Carmen, ahí está todavía. Ángel. Present teacher. Ok, I'm slightly really sorry. Giovanni. Teacher, present. no me mencionó. Cristina. Sí, present. Ok, ok. Eh, let me see. Juan Carlos is there. Present teacher. Yes, Karina is there. Linda is there too. Maria Idalia. I saw it. Uh, Maria Julia is not here. Marlene. Present. Okay. Uh, Marvin is not here. Nancy. I didn't saw Nancy today. No vimos a Nancy o sí. No se conecta. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Ra Raquel. Reinaldo. Suleima. No vi a Suleima hoy. Xiomara. Present teacher. En Ana Cristina. Por estar preciso de despacharlos temprano porque a veces nos pasamos más. Por eso. I, I tend to forget, okay. I do really sorry. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you the next week. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Okay, okay, bye. Enjoy the weekend. Okay, Marlene. Hello, teacher. Hello, Marlene. Okay, Hello. nice. Okay, um, first of all, I, well, I would like to thank you to stay here this uh, last minute. I don't know if you have okay. any question. No sé si tiene uh, alguna pregunta relacionada al tema de hoy o a los anteriores. O no. algún, algún comentario que tenga. Eh, ahora es cuando podemos 
y tomar nota y si es para mejora, pues con gusto voy a hacer. Sí, eh, no, por ahorita todo está bien. Eh, de ahí solamente con el tema de ayer que no estuve en clase, pero eh, yo siempre trato de ver como lo, las clases grabadas para, como para estar al día. Ah, pero no la he podido ver la de ayer, así que por eso no estaba comentando nada de, del tema de ayer. Ah, pero bien. no, de, de ahí no, todo está claro. O sea, no, no, no tengo ninguna duda. Ok. Um... Uh -huh. Well, I don't know if you want to take a look at the presentation that I showed yesterday. No sé si le gustaría que, que le muestre así como rápido la presentación de ayer o you consider just to, to watch the, the video o, o prefiere ver todo el video? Um, creo que para mí es mejor ver todo el video oh, porque okay. eh, me sirve como si alguien hizo alguna pregunta o o algo así, es más como, más explicativo. Ok, ok, yes, because yesterday we talked about expression for describing issues. Okay. El día de ayer, lo que, el tema principal nuestro fue expresiones para describir como problemas en algún equipo, ¿sí? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, entre esas expresiones apareció, por ejemplo, las que mencioné al inicio. I, I have a lot of, I, I, I had a look at it. Como quien dice, vamos a revisarla. Eh, I need to check it, etcétera, etcétera. There in the presentation, you are going to find out the vocabulary that we started. It's really, really important. Hay un montón de palabras ahí que se usan eh, necesarias para cuando se va a, a pedir, por ejemplo, mantenimiento que, que vengan a revisar. En also, ah. yes. Y también vimos uh, three different ways how you can ask for help in order that Uh, they can fix a problem that, they, that you have. Vimos tres formas de cómo eh, podemos resolver los problemas que tenemos en, en maquinaria. Por ejemplo, the first one is in person, that you can go to the, the play where did you buy the machine, que usted puede ir al lugar a donde compró el, la maquinaria y usted puede pedir que le ayuden en la que no está funcionando bien. The second one is that you can look it at the web page. La segunda es que usted puede ver en, en una página web si ellos la tienen. Y ahí puede escribir qué es el defecto que la máquina tiene. And another way is that you can uh, do it online. Usted lo puede hacer en línea uh, using a video conference call. Lo puede hacer a través de una videoconferencia and they are giving you the step that you need to follow in order to resolve the problem. Mm -hmm. A través del video, usted le dice, mire, fíjese que tengo el problema con esta máquina, que no enciende. Y ellos le dicen, mire, muéstremela, eh, tóquele aquí, you know. They, uh -huh. they, they, they follow that, that process, yes. Uh -huh. And that is, that is oh, the, okay. the, the, the lesson that we started yesterday. Esa oh, es como okay. la, la lección que vimos el día de ayer. But if you prefer to, to watch it, uh, the whole video, okay, it's good. Sí, sí, me parece un poco mejor. Más okay. Espléndido. Ok, sí. excelente. Ok, si no tiene ninguna otra pregunta, entonces, I want to thank you very much and I hope to see you next Monday. Ok. Ok, teacher. Okay, Buenas night. noches. Nos Bye. vemos lunes. Bye. Bye.